Welcome to another episode of It's All Greek to Me. Today we will be covering taxation. And here to tell us exactly what that means is Mr. Anastasios Musas from Integrated Consulting Services. Welcome, Thasso. Hello, Gina. Tell us, please, taxation in Greece. Um, I'm a Canadian citizen. Do I need to do my taxes? Am I obligated? What, what is going on? <laughs> It's a fair question. <laughs> And um, many often ask me, you file income tax, you file your taxes if you have an income or if you're liable uh, in file, to file an income tax declaration in Greece or if you have properties. So someone that does not have an income in Greece, does not have properties in Greece, no, they do not have to file income tax declaration because If at one point their parents register them in Greece, then they're Greek citizens. Mm -hmm. It does not go hand by hand. It's not like here where you're a citizen and you have your social insurance number and uh, because you need it to, to, to work. In Greece, if you're a citizen, that does not mean that you have to go and issue your tax identification number. Okay. You issue your tax identification number if you need to file income tax declaration. It's your record before the tax authorities, before the public revenue agency, Eforia, the most economic Iperesia. So if you want to own property, if there is property transferred to you, you cannot do it if you don't have enough me. Once you get yourself enough me, then the obligation to file income taxes starts. Okay. So you file income tax in Greece if you have enough for me. Okay. Now you got enough for me because you had property transfer or you purchased property and you paid whatever property taxes and then the following year you don't generate an income. Do you have to file income taxes? Well, if you got your AFIMI properly If you obtained it from the public revenue agency for non-residents and you don't have an income, although you have a property, you don't need to file income taxes. Okay. However, this is where the tricky part starts. I would suggest, and it's good to file income taxes even with zero income, okay. just to be in good standing. Mm -hmm. What do I mean by that? If you want to do anything in Greece, transfer property, anything, they will ask for what it's called foroloikia Think of it as your tax clearance certificate, a certificate saying you do not owe any taxes, right? Okay. To qualify to get that certificate, that foroloikia you needed to have filed at least three years prior. Mm -hmm. So, although you don't have the obligation, you're not liable to file, if you are to obtain a foroloikia and you have not filed, They're going to ask you to file retroactively and pay 100 euros penalty for not having filed. So just file a zero <laughs> income tax declaration just to be in good standing and can issue at any point a forolikia nimerota. I see. Now, okay. I said, as soon as you have enough for me, then it starts the, your obligation to file income taxes. But then I told you if you have an income. Income, it's not just being employed and receiving a salary or renting a property and receiving a rent or being a retired person and obtaining collecting your pension every year income could be something as simple as i have a bank account i generate interest the interest is income it activates it it makes you responsible liable to file income taxes Okay. So income is what we collect from rent or from salary or from pension, but income also is interest from bank account. Oh dear. So you are a Greek citizen, you don't have property, you don't have a bank account, you don't have an income, no, you don't have to file income taxes. Okay. If you have a property, you have an income or you have a bank account, you have to file income taxes. Wonderful. Very clear. What is important is if we live abroad, if we don't live in Greece, there is no reason to be considered for tax purposes resident of Greece. Okay. And how we consider residents of Greece for tax purposes? If our tax identification number, AFIMI, 
belongs in a local public revenue agency. So what happened in the past? Parents went on behalf of the children to to buy, to purchase property, or they decided to transfer by parental granting to their children, or they went uh, and accepted. So in order to own property, as we said, you need a tax certification number. In the past, it did not make a difference if your tax certification number belonged in a local public revenue agency or at the non-residence. Στο παρελθόν δεν είχε καμία σημασία αν το αφημί ήταν από την τοπική εφορία ή από την, φο... από την δόη κατοίκων εξωτερικού. Σήμερα, it makes a difference. So even though those that have αφημί in Greece but it's issued locally, mm -hmm. it's good to switch to the non-resident because it's better for them. You have different tax obligations. Thank you, Tasha. That was very informative. The pleasure was all mine. And we'll see you next time on It's All Greek to Me.